Hi, and welcome back to A Yelp in the Dark. Today we're going to build dungeon building blocks out of children's building blocks with a little bit of paint. We'll start by basing in deep gray and then paint in a brick pattern in dark gray. I was working on the desert tiles simultaneously as to working on these building blocks. And yeah, my hands got covered in paint. What can I say? I like to make a mess. I outlined some cracks into the larger surface areas. I also decided that each of these building blocks would have a top, so I painted in a ridge line. I made sure to carry any cracks over onto the sides. Using deep gray, I fix any divisions between the bricks that I may have screwed up. Then I go in with gray and I highlight all the cracks around the bricks and the areas where I've cracked the slab. Always keep your highlights to one side. Pick a side and stick with it. I decided to paint in a detail on the larger slab. That way, one side of it will look like an altar. I decided to add a top slab to the brick cubes as well. So I painted a line around the edge using dark gray, and I'm gonna outline it in deep gray. Then I add in the areas of the highlights on the new bricks I've just created using gray. Using a mix of one part gray, four parts water, I start scribbling in the brick texture. Why do I water it down? I don't want the brick texture competing with the highlights. I want them to be more subtle. And finally I do my hard coat of Gloss Mod Podge, wait for it to dry, and Matte Mod Podge. And here are my new dungeon building blocks. They can become ruined columns or obelisks. Combine them with my flame markers for an ominous portal. Or perhaps a demonic altar. Combined with the stair pieces, I can make a bridge. These building blocks will be very versatile and very useful for your dungeon campaign. Thanks for joining me for today's project. Also, join us on the Tabletop Crafters Guild on Facebook so I can see what you're making.